Nigeria's Vice President Kashim Shetima has urged Africans to question the kind of democracy run in their various countries. He said the continent as a whole had its issues with the world, such as fragile democracy. Shetima spoke on the sixth annual lecture and conference of the Association of Foreign Relations Professionals of Nigeria in Abuja on Tuesday. The vice president, who was represented by his special advisor on political matters, Hakim Baba Ahmed, noted that until democracy in Africa is credible, the problems will remain unfixed. The report. The 15-nation bloc ECOWAS formed in 1975 was to promote economic integration in member states. It has struggled in recent years to reverse a wave of military takeovers in the region, including Mali in 2020 and 2021, Burkina Faso in 2022 and Niger in 2023. The exit of these three countries from ECOWAS threatened the African continental free trade area aimed at accelerating inter-African trade and boosting the continent's trade position in the global markets. Keynote speaker at the event, Amina Mohammed, the Deputy Secretary General of the United Nations, spoke extensively on the conference theme on constitutional change of government and attainment of AU 63 agenda and UN SDGs, the case of West Africa and the Sahel sub region. This topic is also a strong reminder the political crisis and the ensuing instability that it often creates does not emerge in a vacuum there are root causes. It is strongly linked to the lack of progress on sustainable and inclusive development for everyone. It is the results of choices that the world makes or fails to make in relation to supporting countries as they heal divisions and pursue their own development pathways. Together, we would need to find the solutions that can not only bridge political and social divides within West Africa and the Sahel, but can spur development and provide hope and a life of dignity for the over 100 million people who call our sub-region home. We will do whatever is necessary without compromising value shared values and principles. We would like an ECOWAS that respects sovereignty of nations. Also an ECOWAS that can disagree and come to a solution on certain fundamentals. This is the only way we can make progress. Also speaking, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Yusuf Tugar, and the AFRPN President, Ambassador Ghani Lawal, said all hands must be on deck to achieve ideal democracy in the continent. And we will continue to work with those neighbors, with members of ECOWAS, to ensure that they remain a part of the community. So because ECOWAS is not about uh, governments, and types of governments, it's about people, it's about community, it's about uh, the um, aspiration to create a common market, just like um, other parts of, uh, of the world have uh, managed to do or are working towards. So it's a Similarly, as part of our mandate, is to posit positively impact the foreign policy of Nigeria. And we'll continue to make available to the policy makers the result of our brainstorming exercise to guide our foreign policy options. In addition, AFRPN will continue to elaborate and promote the Tinumbu 4D agenda, under which the foreign policy goals will be precluded. Earlier, ECHO was imposed economic sanctions on the countries. The sanctions were, however, lifted a few weeks ago following the intervention of Nigeria's ex military head of state, General Yakubu Gowon. The president, ECOWAS Commission Omar Toure, said the decisions were taken in the interest of unity and security in the African sub-region.